Billy was a dreamer. He knew he wanted stardom at an early age. Billy in sports was a lost cause. Socially challenged, yet desperate for attention, for an audience. Desperate. He founded a summer stock theater company in his backyard. He made all the children audition and behaved like a drill sergeant. I need to leave this place. You're so young. You have your whole life ahead of you. Uh, can you sit down, please? Thank you. Start again, sorry. You don't understand. I need to leave this place. You're so young. You, you have your whole life ahead of you. You sound like my parents. Tracy! Oh, sorry. Can we take it back from the... Let's take it back? Yeah. You don't understand. I need to leave this place. You're so young! You have your whole life ahead of you! You sound like my parents. Tracy! <laughs> Come with me! Ah! I can't! Hey, Billy, can, can you just read the sides, please? Yeah. Okay. We're ready. You're so young. You have your whole life ahead of you. You sound like my parents. Tracy. Come with me. I can't. Come on, you always said- well, Don't be a bitch! That's not in the script. Heard of improvisation? Nathan Lane, what are, you, what are you doing here? The question is, what are you doing here? So, what brings you to LA? Um, well we wrapped uh, season one a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Smash. Smash. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like I would just know season one. Oh no no, I thought my my agents told me. <laughs> You're the me. only person I see all day long. Oh no no no, I didn't, I didn't think <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. um, what do you want to do? You want to do comedy, you want to do drama, and don't say everything because everyone says everything. What is your strength? Yeah, comedy. Uh, okay, have you ever done any comedy? Yeah, I mean, other than the comedic roles that I've... I've Played, obviously, I um, you know I do a lot of like self-made like I make a lot of sketch videos. I I I was oh, I made a web series. Oh, what was it called? It's called Billy Green. Billy Green. Okay. What was it about? Uh, it's an industry spoof. It's like you know I guess like inspired by Ricky Gervais's extras or the comeback or something. It's poking fun at what we do. That's like, not easy to do. <laughs> oh, okay. So Rock of Ages, the Off Broadway. You were in the Off Broadway show. Uh, and we transferred to Broadway. Was in the original Broadway cast. So you were in the Off Broadway show. That's fun. Um, so now who, who plays you in the movie? Actually, true story. Okay, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, my whole subplot, uh, Franz Hertz, Regina, that whole, the three characters, the three of us, uh, we were cut from the film. Um, the Hertz oh, so part. it was like not really important to the story? No, it, I'd say it was, I mean... It's okay. okay. It's okay. Oh, so Adam's Family. Yes. Adam's Family, yes. the musical. Oh my gosh, did you have fun? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I heard that was so bad. <laughs> um, yeah, we got some pretty bad reviews. Really bad reviews. Yeah. yeah, I heard it was like one of the worst musicals ever. Which must be, must be kind of fun, because then you like go down in history, right? Um. So you only do musicals? No, I went to drama school actually, but it's one of those things where like you get out of school and you tell your, your agent like, I can sing because you want to be employed faster and then cut to a couple Broadway musicals later and you can't get seen for a straight play. It's kind of fresh. Well, it's lucky for you that they're making musicals on television because now you get to be on TV.